everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami top. Now for this origami you actually need six sheets of paper and I would recommend using paper that's actually a fourth the size of regular traditional origami paper. So this is seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters. You could use larger pieces but this really is the easiest for when you put everything together at the end. So. I wouldn't try too big. This is probably a good size to start off with. So I have six sheets, two of each color. You could make it all solid color, make it all the same, but it looks kind of cool when it's three. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick here then how to fold all these pieces. All six pieces are folded exactly the same. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it into a water bomb base. So with the color side facing down, I'm just going to fold my paper in half diagonally, open it up, and fold it diagonally again. Then with the color side facing up, fold your paper in half and fold it in half the other way as well. And that should give you good preliminary creases so that when you flip it over and you find that those diagonal creases, fold things in half, push in, things should shimmy around so that you can let it lay flat into a nice little diamond shape, a uh, triangle shape, which is the water bomb base. Now, um, you want to make sure to make this uh, fold it this way, and then you want to make sure that you make uh, fold all your other pieces of paper too, so that you wind up having a total of six. And um, again, I'm using just two red, two yellow, and two blue, but these are the pieces that we're going to use um, for the uh, all the corners of the top. Now, it helps to kind of make sure as you go through to kind of fold both ways so that you can get them to stand up nice uh, to create sort of like a point and that'll make the assembly a little easier. Now you don't use any glue for this. It's all just about the pieces coming together into a nice little puzzle and so but you do need some patience until you can get it kind of down. So I'm going to actually start off here just with the reds and the yellows. So um, I can first focus on getting those put together and then we'll put the uh, the blue ones on at the end. Now what I want to do is take one of these red pieces and I'm just going to take the um, corner of one of these red pieces here and I'm just going to slide it into the yellow of one of these sides. So get one of the edges here lined up and slide that in and then kind of hold on to where things have fit together, rot rotate stuff around a little bit, put the yellow on top of the red, you want it to be the same as the other side and then kind of hold on to both of those and then with this part here again I want to try to make sure that the uh, yellow is again on top so I'm just going to make sure to put both of these into opposite sides and I should be able to kind of smoosh it all down until I get a kind of a top shape so the yellow is all on top the reds inside but you can still see some of it there now I want to go ahead and kind of hold these two sides here and kind of cup it in my hand. You can see I'm looking at these four peaks that where I want to put the blue. Now the red has already been tucked into the yellow so I need to make sure that that's on top and then the blue is going to go on top of the yellow. So I can see here a little red pocket that I want to go into and I can go over the yellow and over the yellow and then slide into this red pocket again. And it can be a little tricky when you first are doing it and it can be a little nerve wracking, but have a little patience. And if you need some help from other people, you can ask them to lend a hand. But we want to try to start off by getting all of these to kind of just slide in here until you can get all of those pieces lined up to get it to go in the way that you need it to. should be able to get it to come together so that we wind up getting the blue in the reds and on the yellows to make a nice little tip there and I'm just going to gently hold stuff and roll it over and we're just going to repeat these steps on the other side too so I can kind of just gently hold everything in my hand and have those four peaks again here at the top and if we remember the pattern again, what we want to do is make sure that the red stays on top. So I'm going to take the blue and go inside, make sure that the blue stays on the top, slides in, and it's already kind of going the wrong way on this one. So I want to make sure that this guy goes on 
top of the yellow and inside of the red. And just kind of pull it apart until you can get it to go right. Sort of smooth things along here. It's just sort of about shimmying everything around and kind of pushing gently on it until you can get it all in there right. And if you hold on to each of these tips, you kind of push in with your fingers, you can kind of secure everything and make sure that everything is kind of to its furthest point inside. And that should give you a nice completed top. And, um, you know, I suppose if you yank it or throw this across the room, it might fall apart. But if you're just going to be hanging it delicately on a Christmas tree or something, it should look just fine and not have any troubles. So that is how you make a traditional origami ornament or top. I guess it's really top. You can spin it. I don't want to do it too hard, but <laughs> um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.